gosh, looking at the palm jungle. There's uh, three species of palms in this section here. And uh, numbers wise, quite a few. There's six trachycarpus. There's about five clumps of uh, Camadoria microspadex and then there's a uh, sable minor. But what I wanted to point out was the uh, Camadoria microspadex, which is um, one of the most cold hardy uh, pinnate palm species. These are around my height right now, about six feet. And I'm in zone 8B, the Portland, Oregon area. And I wanted to show you these fronds. So I planted these, uh, <clears throat> not this summer, but at the very end of the previous summer. And they were neglected palms. They went in the ground and in the winter they kind of took some damage and um, came back with some nice new growth. And this is part of it. So all those old fronds actually died off. But uh, you'll read a lot of things about these, about putting them in a protected spot. I have some that are more out in the open, but I thought that this would be a really good um, kind of lesson or to show you what happens. So these palms fronds from the Fortuni are protecting uh, a good chunk of these Camadori micros spadex fronds and I planted these under here because I know once these palms get big they'll lose their fronds and, and then I'll just be looking at some uh, bare palm trunks and uh, fence so I put these in as my greenery and I planted these try to kind of tuck them in underneath the fortuni and uh, what you're gonna see we have not had a cold winter uh, we recorded 29 degrees a couple nights this is what I'm seeing so these outermost fronds, these were nice and green. And these are the ones that are getting exposed to the rain and to the frost. But when you go inside, the fronds are really nice and green. There's even some uh, up here. You see that? And in here, these are really looking nice back there. So, what I've learned, and I mean, I kind of knew this going in. Um, I think at least in our climate, maybe if you're in a zone nine, they can be out in the open bit, a bit more, but in our climate, you really got to put them somewhere protected. Uh, something with overhead canopy, if you really want them to look good and nice. Uh, otherwise, they kinda, they're kind of they kind of ratty looking in the spring, and uh, eventually they'll, they'll end up looking good. The ones I have, that uh, had cover originally that no longer have cover because I removed the large maple tree um, look much worse than these. These ones look pretty good, especially the further back they're planted. You can kind of see I got clumps way back in here. So my advice, uh, they seem that they, that they can handle our full sun, but uh, the frost and stuff does cause damage. So put them in a protected place and they should do well for you. Um, I have noticed they are starting to sucker a little bit more. Uh, new shoots coming out. Um, they do flower for me. You know, you can see there's a new spear. So they, they do do well, but a protected location. Something with overhead canopy. I, I mean, you could even probably plant them underneath a large conifer or something like that. Um, but uh, that's what they need in our climate. So thanks for watching.